Meantime, here in Seattle, activists are still controlling the streets in several blocks of the Capitol Hill neighborhood. King 5's Ted Land is live at what protesters call the Capitol Hill organized protest. Ted, what's going on there right now? Hi, Mark. Today they organize what's called a blackout. It's on the play field at Cal Anderson Park. They say it's a place for the black community to heal after all that's happened in the country over the past several weeks. They, they actually asked people who are not black to kind of stay on the sidelines today to create a space for black healing in the park. I spoke with the co-organizers of the gathering who tell me that watching a stream of videos of black people killed by police has been traumatic and it has stirred up a lot of emotions. What we wanted to do was give back to our community by creating healing spaces for them to grieve and to process and to do that in the absence of people who would normally interfere and say things like all lives matter or discredit the validity and the worthiness of us to have a space where we can heal in public. I asked the co-organizers co of that event how long they think this protest in the streets will last, and they say they'll be here until the city of Seattle takes money out of the SPD budget and puts that into community programs. Mayor Jenny Durkin has said she's committed to a thorough review of the police budget and says she plans to invest $100 million in black communities next year. Live on Capitol Hill, Ted Land, King 5 News. Ted, thank you.